CSA 823.2-6C, Density and Yield of Plastic Concrete. This test method specifies the procedure for determining the density of plastic concrete and includes formulas for calculating the volume of concrete produced from a mixture of known quantities of the component materials and the actual cementitious materials factor. This video demonstrates how to determine the density of the concrete only. The apparatus for this test consists of a steel rod 16 plus or minus 1 millimeter in diameter and between 450 and 600 millimeters in length. A metal container also known as the measure. The minimum capacity of the measure required is dependent on the concrete aggregate size and shall conform to the requirements of table 1. An air meter bucket may be used provided the top rim is smooth and plain to within 0.25 millimeters. A rubber or rawhide mallet weighing approximately 0.6 plus or minus 0.3 kilograms for use with measures of 7 liters or smaller and a mallet weighing approximately 1.0 plus or minus 0.3 kilograms for use with measures larger than 7 liters. A strike-off bar of approximately 6 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 450 millimeters long. A flat rectangular glass plate at least 6 millimeters thick or ultimately a flat rectangular transparent acrylic plate of at least 10 millimeters thick both with length and width at least 50 millimeters greater than the diameter of the measure with which it is to be used. A balance or scale sensitive to within 0.05 kilograms. Density is defined as the mass of an item divided by the volume it occupies. For this test we require a container of known volume. Clause 7 of CSA 823.2-6C provides the procedures for calibrating the measure. This is not covered under this video. First, we determine the mass of the empty measure to the nearest 0.05 kilograms, and we record the volume V, or the factor 1 over V, of the measure. This is frequently recorded on the side of the measure. Place concrete in the measure in three approximately equal layers. Consolidate the concrete by way of rotting. Rod each layer 25 times if using a measure equal to or smaller than 15 liters, and 50 times when a measure is larger than 15 liters. At each layer, distribute the strokes uniformly over the cross section, rotting the lower layer throughout its depth without forcibly striking the bottom. After rotting each layer, tap the sides of the measure 10 or more times with a rubber mallet until no large bubbles of air appear on the surface and the voids left by the tamping rod are closed. Rod the middle and top layers each throughout their depth, penetrating the previous layer by about 25 millimeters. Upon completion of rotting the final layer, the concrete should be slightly overfilled by approximately 3 mm. Remove any excess of 3 mm or add a small quantity of concrete to correct any deficiency. Strike off is a three step operation. The initial strike off is carried out with the strike off bar or tamping rod. The intermediate strike off is accomplished by pressing the strike off plate on the top surface of the measure to cover about two thirds of the surface. Withdraw the plate with a sawing motion and place the plate on the top of the measure to cover the original two thirds of the surface. Using a sawing motion, advance the plate until it covers the whole surface and continue to advance until it slides completely off the measure. For the final strike off, incline the plate and perform the final strokes with the edge of the plate to produce a smooth surface. Clean off all excess concrete.
Determine the mass of the full measure to the nearest 0.5 kilograms. Determine the net mass by subtracting the mass of the previously recorded empty container from the mass of the full container. In this case, 19.88 kilograms minus 3.44 kilograms, rounded to the nearest 0.05 kilograms, which leaves us 19.90 minus 3.45 resulting in a net mass of 16.45 kilograms. Calculate the density by dividing the net mass by the volume of the container, also previously determined. In our example, the net mass is divided by a volume of 0.0070138 cubic meters, or 7.01 liters, giving a density of 23.45 kilograms, which is to be recorded to the nearest one kilogram per cubic meter. This concludes the density test.